Good morning, New Yorker. Another beautiful day here at City. Hey! Today, <clears throat> sorry, I had some. I'm gonna be visiting all the filming locations from every single Spider Man movie. Are you not gonna help me? I can't, but you're more than welcome to come. Why would I wanna come? Who doesn't like to come? Can I come? I'm first going to start by visiting the original Spider-Man filming location. Then, I'll move on to the Amazing Spider-Man. And finally, Tom Holland's Spider-Man. But first, the OG Spider-Man. We're gonna visit his house. Well, technically, it's Aunt May's house. This was Aunt May's house where Peter, where, le, where Peter Lee, le, what's wrong with it? Where Peter lived. <laughs> Aunt May's house where Spider-Man lived. <laughs> and this was uh, Mary Jane's house. This is the OG. Yeah, this is back in the day in the 1950s when this movie came out. But deliver us. Oh, you are serious one. Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. We're big fans. That's awesome. It was That's such awesome. a cool experience to have them film here. Oh, you were here. You were here when they oh filmed? Oh my gosh, that's actually That is so, so cool. cool. I was just buying this house when they came. That well, is so Toby cool. McGuire was so nice. Kirsten was nice. Sam Raimi. So you just got to sit on set while they... Yes, as long as we were there. Yeah, yeah. And then the next day was Kirsten's 19th birthday. Oh, and the crew was so nice. They cleaned up, they set up. How long did it take? Was it a, like a few days or a lot? A longer? couple of days to set up, a couple of days to clean up, and then one, I think it was one overnight each time. That is so cool. I was not expecting the same yeah, like owner. That's, that's awesome. awesome. What a great story. This is one of the many really cool locations that I'm going to be visiting in this video. I won't stop until I have visited every single Spider-Man film set. And later on in this video, we get lucky and run into a Marvel action. That's coming up soon. This is Joe's Pizza from Spider-Man 2. This is where Spider-Man worked at. Stop, stop! This is also where he got fired because he was really late to delivering pizzas all the time and uh, he was just a horrible delivery driver. Technically he was really good though. He was like fast but slow at the same time. Kind of what they call me in bed. <laughs> There's also a lot of people. I have anxiety. Is this the Spider-Man one or is this another one? No, that's the original right here. Oh look, he's here. Oh, that's it. That's amazing. Were you there when he filmed it or no? Yeah. Two, two. No, wait, no, you were... No, I'm not here. Oh, okay. I, was like... I got a Sicilian slice from Joe's Pizza. Pizza time. He was swinging with Mary Jane around that building. Now, the cool part about this scene is upstairs. Unfortunately, I can't go because it's like 2,500 per hour. <laughs> and I don't have that money. But don't worry, because thankfully, I was able to AI generate myself onto this scene. I can climb this roof if I wanted to do that. I don't want to though right now. <laughs> Look that way. You look so stupid. I look stupid? You look stupid, buddy. All right, on to the next location. Do that cool transition that you've been doing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like change it in post. Promise? Yeah, I promise. Sure? Yeah, go for it. Yeah. Now we're gonna visit the filming locations of the Amazing Spider-Man. And in my opinion, I think these movies were extremely underrated. But that's not all. I'm gonna accidentally meet an actor from Marvel, and that's coming up later. This is the spot where Spider-Man fought Rhino. Oh, that's cool. The Met Life was in the scene. So like the Met Life was in the scene, and basically I'm pretty sure that Spider-Man here is where he grabs the uh, like a thing from the ground and like yeah, hits yeah. Rhino with it. Yeah. And he never got a third movie. He didn't. Do you think he won the fight? His girlfriend literally died. He was like on the like on the villain arc. I feel like like every time I get rejected, I feel unstoppable for like a week. Really? <laughs> yeah. I just go to the gym and shit more. Doesn't that happen to you? No, because I don't try. <laughs> I got so much anger. This is the fight scene with Electro. Believe it or not, they replicated an entire Times Square thing. Wait, really? it, it wasn't actually shot in Times Square. No way. This entire thing was filmed in a green screen studio. They made it as close as possible to Times Square. So, jokes Wait. on all of us. That's impressive. I learned that the other day. I was like researching, I'm like, does it still make sense to come here? <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm so down bad, bro. This is where the amazing Spider-Man said, I love you to Gwen Stacy. 
Stop the cap. It was a really romantic gesture. Out of all the Spider-Mans, I will say, I think Andrew had the most risk. Oh, no, 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 Toby, Toby. Those moves, though. <laughs> and if you're wondering where Gwen Stacy was when she saw the I love you thing, she was in the street level right over there. Spider-Man basically put all his web in this bridge and then he brought Gwen Stacy up in this bridge, in the Brooklyn Bridge, and then he just like wrist her up. You know, you are right. He might have the best wrist. That's what I'm saying, dude. Dude, I wish I could just have a, a girlfriend and superpowers. Wait, wait, you gotta pick. Superpowers or a girlfriend? Ooh. If I was Spider-Man though, I think I'd have to pick Spider-Man. Yeah, I would pick a girlfriend. Good for you. <laughs> you know what's crazy? We could have superpowers, but we just don't know until we try. Now we're moving on to Tom Holland's Spider-Man. Everyone kind of loves this dude, and it's kind of hard to hate Tom Holland. He just seems like such a nice guy. This is the location where Spider-Man was announced as Public Enemy Number One. Mysterio guy, Jake Hit, J Jake, Jake Hill. What's I actually don't know. Jake Hill and Hall. Jake Hill, dude. Taylor Swift's ex-boyfriend. Really? <laughs> yeah. Basically, Mysterio reveals that Spider-Man's name is Peter Parker. What the? Right over there, in this screen. It's where they show it. I should be up there. You? You were stealing a woman's purse not that long ago. <laughs> I'm ready, bro. Yeah, it was amazing. All right, on to the next location now. The first 10 minutes of No Way Home, Spider-Man is grabbing MJ and trying to hide her from all these people harassing her. He pulls up through that little sewer for some reason. He takes this off and flies with MJ right over there. Oh, so much worse. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, I'm so sorry. Well, the cool thing is like this is this is the shop, right? The sandwich shop. But like you can't fake like this. They can't move this. Well, I mean, they, I guess they could. I mean, AI generated the fill. <laughs> Let's see what the next location is. Behind me, Spider-Man's house from No Way Home. No Way Home or Far From Home? Or both. Both? Yeah. Both. Actually, no, I think... I mean, all three, technically. Didn't he move or shit? No. He moved... Shut up. So basically, he comes here with MJ, he jumps into the window, and all of a sudden, there's helicopters outside of his house. And they, they get walked in on. And they get walked in on. And it's like really awkward for a second. It's happened to me before. <laughs> I'm gonna have you try to climb up the stairs. This is my house. You got this, Michael. I believe in you. I can't even reach that. Not with that mindset, dude. <sighs> oh, you were close. You were like awfully close. Really? Yeah. All right, let me let me let me play for real, real quick. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I can climb this, guys. Things I do for Manuel's video. Oh, it went up my butt. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell, dude? <laughs> you know. I don't think I want to be Spider-Man today anymore. Michael is a horrible representation of what Spider-Man is. But next up, we have some of my favorite filming locations to visit. And again, later, we're bumping into a Marvel actor. Oh, isn't that guy from Marvel? I swear that guy's from Marvel. What? Are you an actor by any chance? Yes. Oh, that's so cool. But first, I decided to become friends with strangers. Have you guys ever heard of this plate? I actually needed to tell these strangers about today's video sponsor, this plate. This plate has to be my favorite sponsor of all time. When I got the posters in the mail and I opened them up myself, I couldn't believe the quality of the posters. These are like really high quality. Part of the reason why these posters are so cool is because they have texture. And texture just means that these posters are 3D. So you can really feel the details, bringing your regular poster to basically life. They might just start walking around. Who knows? You know when you're hanging a poster in your house and then you gotta hit all these holes. That should be good. I mean, it's just missing a few minutes. They have a magnetic system where you literally put it in and then there's no holes in your wall. That's Wait, so crazy. you guys have uh, Call of Duty posters by chance? They do. They do have Call of Duty posters. Perfect. Yo, I'm, I'm like Spider-Man. They do. They do have a bunch of Marvel posters. Yo, that's Yo, so tough. Our wall Yo, looks so tough now. Yeah. <laughs> the holidays are coming up. It's a good gift to give your loved one. Do you have a loved one? Of course. No need to lie. <laughs> Let's go. What's your name? Gwen Stacy. <laughs> <That's laughs> Hit the link in my description to get the best deals on this plate before it's too late. Because they're going to be gone. Just like my ex-girlfriend. Sorry. Give them to your friends, your family, Gwen Stacy. Give them to everyone. You know the next location we're going to go hit? So right after he put on the suit for the first time, the one that Tony Stark gave him, 
he goes and climbs right up there and he takes a call. I think he's only like, his character's only like 14 or 15 in this movie. Keep him away from Dr. Disrespect. Uh, I don't know who that is. Oh, it was a guy who was caught messaging uh, a minor. There's a streamer. Oh, why is everyone doing that now? I don't know, it's like a new trend. So <laughs> this was shot in a real location and there's clips and photos of him being dressed up in the suit. We're gonna try to go in and see if we can go up there. <laughs> yeah, it's locked. Sure. On to the next location. Now, before we visit that last location on the list, I wanted to ask people of New York City who their favorite Spider-Man is. Who's the best Spider-Man in your opinion? I don't really know. No, don't know. Okay. New York's so confused. Favorite Spider-Man, guys. I'm gonna off myself. Who's the best Spider-Man in your opinion? Tobey Maguire. No idea. Andrew Garfield. No idea. Did you watch all of them or no? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Them. You? Uh, Andrew Gar Garfield, probably. I was, I was also gonna say yeah. Andrew Garfield. Toby. Uh, the guy has a bl uh, red, uh, red, um, Andrew. Andrew, yes, Andrew. Yes. Tom Holland. Too. Tom Holland. My name is Martin Morales because my dad used to call me that as a kid. Okay, okay. Respect, respect. Thank you, thank you, guys. That was actually the most wholesome reason. Toby Maguire. Toby. Yeah. Uh, Andrew Garfield. Andrew, why? Cause he's smart. <laughs> okay. That's my favorite Spider. Ben. He said Ben. Toby Maguire. Toby Maguire. Tom Holland. Uh, Tom Holland? Tom okay. Holland. Tom Holland. Tom Holland? Yeah. Same. Tom, Same. Tom Holland. Same with you. Tom Holland. Messi. 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 Tom Holland. Tom Holland. Okay, man. Thank you no, so much. No, Andrew Garfield. <laughs> okay, that's also no, good. No, both too. of them. Both of them. Okay, thank you. That guy's from uh, yeah. Secret Agents of Marvel, I think. What's the show name? Agents of Shield. He's the guy, the main guy. Uh, I've never seen that one. It's a really cool show, actually. That's, that's crazy. crazy. This what this what happens when you don't give up. I got rejected so many times doing these that was a interviews. Crazy check right there. That was awesome. And now, finally, the last location on this list. We're at MJ's Donut Shop. This is a, a real place and we're gonna check it out, we're gonna go inside. And also, I'm not wearing the suit. I'm not wearing the Spider-Man suit, because it smells, okay? Sorry, forgive, sue me. I'm not wearing that shit again. I need to do laundry on it. Anyways, let's go inside. Let's see how similar it is from the actual movie. Oh, this is cool. This looks so similar. This is actually really cool. Uh, could I just get like a, a donut, like a simple donut? Um, do you want a glaze, a honey dip? Yes, thank you. I right, say goodbye to it for now. That was actually really cool. That, that was better than I thought it was. So basically, this location is where MJ worked. So MJ's donut shop in the movie was inspired by this place. As you can see, they have the same uniform. It's a very similar layout. Um, and they copied the entire thing and made it a studio. Let's give it a donut shack. Ready? Oh, that's glazed up. <laughs> that's really good. This was a very sad scene. It was the second to last scene in No Way Home. Uh -huh. This is where, spoiler alert, <coughs> you've had like, right. everyone forgot who Peter was, even MJ. Peter walks in with a note, um, getting ready to give it to MJ, and then to say that he's Spider-Man, because everyone forgot Peter because of the spell. And then he didn't, he didn't give the note because of the spell that Dr. Seuss casted on him. Yep. Dr. Seuss. We have visited every single filming location. I can confidently say that I love all the Spider-Mans equally. I guess the real question is, who is going to be that next Spider-Man? I got a feeling that he's out there and the world would soon know his name. I will say I'm a little bit disappointed because I was hoping to find a girlfriend um, this year. This has nothing to do with the video. I'm not quite sure why 